How's it going, Boogie? Uh, first of all, how are you feeling? And after the past couple of years, you know, kind of had some injuries sprinkled through there. How good do you feel about your chance to get in there and stay this year? Uh, yes, sir. I'm feeling great right now. Uh, one thing I learned just playing SEC football is, you know, it's not always a battle of who's going to play at 100 percent. It's who can kind of play at 85, you know, because all them weeks playing football, especially in SEC day in and day out, you're going to get hurt sometimes as long as you try to stay away from being injured. You know, uh, that's a bit, another thing I've learned is you're always going to be hurt. As long as you're not injured, you're OK. And so I feel very confident or hopefully that I, I have I remain blessed and stay uh, non injured. So I'm, I'm hoping for a great year with that. Uh, you've had another scrimmage last Saturday. What were your kind of takeaways from that, you know, kind of inside two weeks towards a real game? Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, I just saw that uh, the, the whole everybody wants to compete. You know, everybody is ready to play. We're all excited. I know on the defense side of the ball, everybody's trying to just lock in together, click, just play great team defense. And that's what I was seeing. Everybody's just working a day in every single day to get better. But you obviously, you're a guy that I think a lot of people think can be a really big piece for this defense. I guess just what's that like, I guess, this season? Is it any different that during the offseason going in and being a guy that, you know, maybe is penciled in as a starter? And, and I guess how does that, if at all, change things maybe uh, for you going through preseason camp and things like that? Yeah, uh, I, I say no matter where I'm at, I just want to uh, just win. You know, that's kind of what I want to do is win whatever I got to do, whether it's on special teams, playing, not playing, whatever I got to do. It's just uh, I just want to win because I, I found through winning, you know, individual things happen as well. And so that's really the goal. So just whatever I got to do to win is what I want to do. Boogie, just how much first team reps are you getting in practice as game week approaches? And, and how exciting is that for you as a guy that's struggled to stay healthy at times over the course of his career? How exciting is it to mm -hmm. be in contention to be a potential starter? Yes, sir. Yeah. Well, Coach Lindsey, he's doing a great job right now, just being able to shuffle everybody in, get some get some first team reps, seeing who can play where. Everybody's getting to go against the first team offense, and so I think that's preparing the whole D line, and so everybody's getting a good amount of reps there. And uh, I mean, it, it, I feel like this goes for the whole D line. Everybody wants you get those chances to to you know show yourself uh, like how you've been working and things like that. Everybody gets excited, and it's a great feeling. And I think the whole D line is getting to feel that just because how we're rotating. What would you say, um, or how would you sort of describe the difference in Shane Beamer right now as compared to a, a year ago from now? Um, honestly, I wouldn't say it's much of a, a difference, honestly. I mean, I've always thought this about Coach Beamer. He's a real genuine guy, real. He's going to be the same person in the building, outside the building, wherever it is. And so he's he's coming. If any if anything was different, I'd say he's bringing more energy. He's he's uh, just bringing better things to the game plan. One thing that I thought was really cool is he took notes last year on specific dates and practices, and he'll go back and tell us like, hey guys, last year around this time we didn't do, you know, the things we need to do this practice. Let's not do that. So for him to be able to recollect last year's practice and then uh, inform us about it now is crazy and it helps a lot. But yeah, obviously you guys had a really good start to last year, or good last year and, and closing things off with the bowl win. When you go into this year and, and maybe having, I guess, whether that's expectations for yourselves or outside or whatever that is, I guess just what's that like kind of managing and, and I guess what goes into maybe, um, I guess for lack of a better term, kind of learning to manage winning more and, and sort of exceeding expectations and sort of moving along with those kinds of trends? Yeah, um, honestly, I think one thing that uh, – I'm trying to do personally, and I'm assuming the whole team just trying to take it game by game. You know, just uh, uh, just be one and zero every week is a big thing that I like to try and do. And regards to the bowl game, I personally haven't. I, I that was the first time I'm thinking about the bowl game was just now when you asked me. I haven't even thought about that. I'm really just working about or thinking about the just you know playing good team defense and doing whatever I got to do on the field to help us do better. Boogie, what do you feel like your where do you feel like your game is right now in terms of comfortability with it? And from that point, how do you feel like your skill set really helps this defense when you're playing up front? Yes, sir. Yeah, um, I, I'm just extremely excited uh, to to play. Really, just because you you uh, said like how comfortable am I and whatnot. I'm excited because I am extremely comfortable right now. Or I'm comfortable in my ability. I'd say I'm not comfortable in practice or whatnot, but in my ability. I'd say uh, just because I'm I'm so excited I'm ready to go play, and and that's where it is really. I, I think on the team, if, if whatever it is, I just want my teammates to be able to say, 
oh, he's going to try, he's going to run to the ball. And, and that's really been a big emphasis is just give 110% effort because effort is never going to fail you. And so that's, if I had, if, if when I graduate or leave football, whatever it is, I, I hope my teammates can say I'm a, I'm a good teammate, leader, and he's going to go all out. Hey, we've heard a lot about trying to stop the run more from a lot of your teammates on the defensive line. What does that kind of look like going from maybe a practice or a film session or trying to translate that into games? Yeah, um, stopping the run, not only is it a physical thing, obviously, but it's also a mindset. And I think that's been something we've all been really locked into this camp and this year is stopping the run, especially being in SEC, how physical it is, how run dominant it is. Sometimes you have to stop the run. And so that's one thing that the D-line obviously takes uh, – a lot of responsibility for, and we take pride in doing it, and so that's a, a big thing right now. Right on, Appreciate it. Thank you all.